Hey everyone! So I thought I would do a kind of sit down and get ready with me. I am getting ready to run errands. Um, so really nothing too dramatic. Um, but you know, I kind of thought I'd film it for you guys. Um, I know I've been using the Naked Heat palette a lot, so I kind of thought maybe today I'd lay off the Naked Heat palette a bit and kind of show you an overall um, kind of face routine. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started with the MAC Fix Plus. This I think was limited edition. It is a one of the scented ones, one of the cool scented ones. This is actually coconut scented, which is why it looks a little bit kind of orangey brown. Hmm. Reminds me of Go Down South actually, which I'm doing very soon. So I'm actually going to get started on the eyes just because I find that easier to do. So I'm going to go ahead um, and start with the MAC, what is this, Pearl Longwear Paint Bot in Soft Ochre. So I got a new memory card yesterday. It is 128 gigs, so hopefully um, I will never get the message saying, oh, memory card's full. Honestly, knowing me, I probably still will get it. So now I'm going to just kind of set that. I think today I'm going to use the TARDIS Pro palette, one of my all-time favorite palettes also. I'm just going to set that with the shade Classic, which is this color up here. Um, hmm. Honestly, I'm just kind of playing around right now. I don't have a look in mind so I'm kind of just like doing whatever I'm gonna take this brush which is probably my favorite brush hmm. um, I'm going to take Indie which is this color right here and just put that in the crease I'm just going to kind of blend out any edges with this first brush again. Next, I'm going to go in with the chocolate bar. This is just the original chocolate bar, it's not like the milk chocolate or anything. I'm going to go into hazelnut and creme brulee so these two so this one's more of a, a brown color and this one's more on the gold color so i'm just going to go in with a flat brush like so this is a bogo she eyeshadow brush it's gonna go on the lid And put it into the crease. Like these shadows are extremely pigmented. I mean, a little goes a long way. I completely forgot how good these are. I'm gonna go into hmm, um, salted caramel, which is this color, 
and I'm just gonna kind of blend that out. I'm using this brush again, and I'm just really gonna blend out that because it kind of went on a little harsher than I was hoping. Honestly, this is gonna be like super easy look, something you can do, you know, if you have to run out the door in like five seconds. So I just kind of pinned the top of my hair back with a a bow. Cute. <laughs> um I primed my face with the prep and prime. Also, I am kind of I'm really not wearing makeup that much. It's what time is it? It is like six o'clock, so um, it's really like I won't be wearing makeup for a while, like for like a while. I'll just be wearing it for like an hour or two. So I'm actually going in with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Do -do -do. Maybe you'll focus for me. No, maybe not. Um, okay, I really love this foundation because it comes with a little spatula on it. So um, I used to put foundation on the back of my hand and take a brush and dab it onto the brush and transfer it to my face or with the beauty blender. Um, but now I don't even have to do that. Um, I can put it directly on my face. The one thing is... Um, I wouldn't use this on other people like if you are doing someone else's makeup or sharing makeup or something um, t like if you use a spatula don't use it on anyone else just sanitary reasons I think that makes sense I'm going to buff that in with this really dirty brush um, I should clean my brushes more than I do I'm really not going for perfect here um you know I'm gonna have blemishes showing I'm not gonna be using concealer today so I'm not using mirror <laughs> which is why I'm kind of using the viewfinder too say, wow, your foundation is not blended here. <laughs> so now I'm just going to set all that with a face powder with this brush and then the Essence All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. So Essence brands I find are super inexpensive and they're not a bad product either so I do enjoy Essence products. Again, this isn't a perfect look by any means. I'm really not going for perfect. I'm kind of going for casual. So that's what we're getting. Um, I'm going to go underneath my eyeball um, with, let me see. I have so many brushes. And I'm like, which one to use today? Oh, this one looks good. So I'm going to start using an eyeliner. Um, this is an Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Pencil in the shade Smog. So it's actually very similar to the Urban Decay Naked Palette shade. It's in the original Naked Palette. It's the color Smog. This is just the pencil form of that color. So it's like a burnt gold color. I'm just going to run this along the lower 
the lower um, lash line. I'm gonna take this double-sided brush. This is a crown brush. It's double-sided. Don't know what it's called because it wore off. But I know, I'm pretty sure this is a small crease brush and this is maybe a blending brush. I don't exactly know what they called it. So I'm going to take the color Edgy and just kind of smudge that along where I put Smog. take a liquid eyeliner pen this is the classic Kat Von D tattoo liner that I absolutely love um, it's in the shade trooper that's my favorite one I don't really use brown liquid liner on my top lashes ever um, so yeah I'm gonna stick with trooper let's watch me do a eight wing eyeliner really close up. Hey, now time to try and make it even. They're not even, but I give up. Um, so now I'm just going to curl my lashes and do mascara and then I'll come back and do my eyebrows. So I am back from mascara. So on the top lashes, I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous original one of my favorite mascaras I just bit my tongue Ow. one of my favorite mascaras honestly I've had this forever and it's still not drying out it's dried out it's not dry, dry out. it's still very like kind of liquidy um which I actually really like in mascara um but you know don't kill me and on the bottom I have the essence get big lashes volume boost waterproof on the bottom lashes i like having a waterproof mascara um it's just for me less likely to smudge and i cry a lot um fun fact i am a crier Ooh. um so now for my brows i'm going to be using the anastasia Anastasia beverly hills So my brows are kind of, I mean, I know brows aren't supposed to be twins, 
they're more they're supposed to be sisters mine are kind of like cousins like kind of distant cousins <laughs> I'm just gonna fill my eyebrows and you'll see Look at that brow, girl. One brow. Done. <laughs> they don't look real. <laughs> now, some people kind of clean up their brows with concealer. I don't bother. Um, partly because I don't care. I do. I really do. On most occasions, I do. Um, on this occasion, I'm really not going anywhere in particular. I'm not going anywhere special. They're a little more dramatic than I usually would wear them. But that's okay. Now for a lip product. Don't like that one. Literally have a bunch of lipsticks and I'm like, eh. these two. No, I'll just go the one. I'm gonna go in with Mare by MAC. So that is that. So I was actually fully able to get ready to run errands in about 20 minutes. And I think that's pretty typical for me um, doing a look similar to this. That doesn't really require too much, say, blending or precision. Um, now if I was doing maybe more of a smokier eye, um, that required more blending, then yeah, that would have taken me closer to 45 minutes. Um, but I think 20 minutes is pretty common for my makeup looks. So I hope you guys like this video. Um, if you did, give it a thumbs up. I always love to see that. This is one of the dresses that I was talking about in my summer outfits some of my new clothes that i got so i'm super excited i love it um i've been wearing this all day with a jean jacket so it's very comfortable yeah so so i hope you guys like this video subscribe if you haven't already and leave me any comments below if you have any requests for any videos whatsoever um you know kind of let me know what you guys are interested in seeing so until then, I hope to see you guys next week. Bye guys. I'm crazy.